authority, meteorologist Ron Rose. Ah, yes, not a bad-looking Friday, that's for sure. The sunshine beaming on down. That, of course, is the busy interchange right there on the Vandenberg War County line. It is the Diamond Valley Federal Credit Union camera. Plenty of traffic out there, as you might expect at lunchtime. A lot of folks probably getting some grub on the east side or down to Newburgh. And there are the twin bridges. I saw the backup, a little bit of a backup on Highway 41 in Henderson. We'll check that later on. But, yeah, it looks like the twin bridges, everything's okay. A little more northbound traffic than southbound traffic. But, uh, yeah, both lanes open on both bridges. That's a good thing right there. And there is the Blue Bridge in view under the hazy blue sky. Got that haze from that wildfire smoke out west. It will be better as we go through the weekend, though, especially through Saturday. And you can see the blue sky over downtown Evansville. Superior Ag Camera on top of Fifth Third Bank. Right now it's 79 degrees. Dew point is at 63. So it's crept up a little bit. We started the day with the dew point in the upper 50s. Then it crept up into the low 60s. Now it's getting a little bit higher, but it's still, you know, pleasant enough. With a wind that's currently calm, wind's going to pick up a little bit more from the southeast today at around 5 to 10, and that's going to help push those temperatures up. Now, I'm calling it upper 80s, but now I'm getting a little worried because Evansville's lagging behind at 79 degrees. It's 82, though, across the river in Henderson, 80 in Owensboro, 80 in Calhoun, 78 in both Santa Claus and Tell City, and 77 degrees right now in Jasper. Uh, on the comfort meter, though, with that dew point at 63, again, it's not humid, it's tolerable, and I call it pleasant enough uh, with those low 60 dew points, and that's what I expect really for the rest of the weekend, although it's going to get warmer each day as we head through the rest of the week. And into next week, uh, the average date of the last 90 degree temperature here in Evansville is today, the 16th day of September on average. Well, we're going to be beyond the average. We've got 90s waiting in the wings this weekend and next week, and even low to mid 90s. As we look at our live first warning Doppler radar, Nothing shaking there. Got a little rain in Kansas City well to the west, though. We've got a few clouds kind of cutting in, but not many. I mean, we're talking about plenty of sunshine out there. Just that haze that's in effect. And we've also got the severe weather threat out in the midsection of the country where you're seeing the showers and the thunder showers out there right now. Well, here's what it looks like as far as the wildfire smoke is concerned. The forecast, anyway. You can see the yellows and oranges indicating quite a bit of haze right now. As we work our way into Saturday morning, you can see it's starting to shift more to the east and get pulled more uh, to the east and southeast of the tri-state. So we're looking more in the blue and that obviously that smoke or the haze is going to thin out a little bit in our atmosphere. It's looking a little bit better there. All right, here's the latest on Tropical Storm Fiona. It's about to hit the Lesser Antilles, headed for Puerto Rico. That'll be tomorrow morning, it looks like, uh, when it could make landfall there, and also the island of Hispaniola. It's going west at 14 miles an hour, packing 50 mile per hour winds. It is a tropical storm. Now, later on, it could be impacting the Bahamas and even Florida. We'll keep our eyes on that, but that would be next week. But this weekend, looks like it's headed for Puerto Rico, Haiti, and also the Dominican Republic. As we look at our future track, yeah, we've got some clouds out there, a little haze out there too. Future Tracker shows a few showers popping up, not really buying into that. And you can see a pretty good mix of sunshine and clouds as we roll through uh, the day. And then the evening, broken clouds out there could make for a really good looking sunset. Oh, by the way. And as we head into Saturday, still plenty of sunshine mixed in with a few clouds at first. But look at all that sun we've got by the afternoon. Future Tracker again showing us a few drops of rain, not buying that at all. And then Sunday, pretty much the same setup, although it's going to get a little bit warmer by then. 88 degrees for a high today, warm enough today with a mix of sunshine and clouds with a southeast wind at 5 to 10. On the three degree guarantee, I called for a high yesterday of 86 degrees and it got up to 84. That's a three degree guarantee winner. Jane Martin yeah. of Eastern Davis County. Let's hear it for Jane. She's got herself an umbrella courtesy of Ackerman Chiropractic. Jane, do not come here today. <laughs> Pam is a keeper of the goodies, and Pam is on vacation. Uh, so, yeah, upper 80s today, but next week she'll be here. So you, you can come by next week or any time after that. 89 degrees uh, on Saturday, 90 on Sunday, the first of several 90s. It gets warmer. 92, 93, 94 degrees on Wednesday. What does Angie care? She's going to be in Baja, Maine, and she's not going to be worrying about the heat that we're going to be sweating our way through down here <laughs> because it is going to get a little more humid It is going to uh, be next week, humid, especially it? on Tuesday. All right, here's our fun fruit of the week. How about that? Happy oh, melon. Oh, it's a happy watermelon. <laughs> Slice of melon. You, it's looking right back at you with a big old smile. <laughs> Missing a few teeth right there. Still a pretty big old smile. Phyllis Titchener, thank you so much for happy melon. Oh, that is it so It made us cute. all happy when we got to see it. I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Thanks, Phyllis. Hey, when we come back, Water for People concert coming up. Amanda's right there. She's ready to tell you about it.